with an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he. Chief of the Tuscarora. You know my name. Use it. Which one? Gabriel Cooper or Thundercloud? You become a legend among two nations. The Tuscarora are my people. And I have but one name. Kanawatsukwau. Yet your tongue stumbles over it yet. Is that what you came to tell me? No, I came to ask you to guide me through Tuscarora country. Great Daniel Boone needs a guide. How far do you expect to get? With your help, to Vincennes. You asking me to do that? I figured a part of you was still Gabe Cooper. Maybe the best part. The part that hold and plan it for a smile? The part that ran behind a mule and teased gravel to turn green. And when it came sundown, bowing to some white man who'd soon scrape boot mud off my jaw if I was handy. Is that the part you mean, Boone? I'm talking about the part that ached to get free, and did. I won that for myself, did you? You're wasting your time, Boone. Get out while you still got your scalp. If I leave, it'll be with you, Gabe. I didn't take the sermons when I was a slave. And I didn't learn mercy, Boone. Then call your braves. They've smelled blood out there. It would be hard. Then give to... your orders. You help me get free. I owe you a piece of Gabe Cooper. I need that piece that wants what any man has a right to have. All right. I'll lead you through the country of my people, but no farther. And once we have reached its boundaries, I owe you no debt. Is that understood? A white man's custom. A Tuscarora needs no handshake to seal a bargain. We'll come ashore here. is north along this river. I know. We're going to pick up a detachment at Fort Putnam. That's Iroquois country. My promise was to get you through Tuscarora country. In about five days, an American flotilla going to sail up the Ohio River to flank the British garrison at Stover. My mission is to destroy the cannon on the bluffs of Vincennes. There's a British fort at Vincennes. Yes, but only on the side that faces the river. You aiming to go up those bluffs on the backside? While most of my detachment diverts the British garrison. And if you don't get those cannons? We will. Each one of those cannons is worth one of our boats. Our boats? American boats. You're a fool to trust me with this information. Am I? You told me a Tuscarora needed no handshake to seal a bargain. Well, we've got one. Now let's get started for Fort Putnam.
your coin. Don't seem like you got a war party left, Boone. Help! <coughs> Help! <coughs> <coughs> Officer doing in an American fort. The fortunes of war, sir. Why don't you tell him the truth, Edison? He's a dirty deserter. I think he'd find your story much more amusing, Stark. Shut your faith! Our friend here has a talent for musketry. Except he mistook a fellow soldier for a redcoat. <coughs> a natural mistake in the heat of battle. Or was it a mistake, Stark? Now, simmer down, both of you. What's your name, son? Ada Webster, sir. They come on us last night. <coughs> murdered, massacred everybody in the garrison, then torched it. I could hear them wailing and screaming. I was chained up. You seen I was chained up, sir. You're lucky it was, too, Ada, for you to get scalped just like the rest of them. I was ready. You heard me begging them to let me lose the fight. Sure, you was ready. You was ready to run like a scared jackrabbit. Not this time. I wanted to fight. Fight? Well, your breeches was flapping so bad, I could have swore you was going to sail up river. Wow. I'm a coward. War brings out the finest in us, lad. Well, I still thank Providence for saving my life. For what it's worth. It wasn't Providence that brought me. It just may have provided me with my compliment. You still think you got a mission? We've got the powder. toward the river, and they're lightly guarded. The main force is here, but I plan to come from the back. And blow up those cannons. Let me ask you something, Boone. Go ahead. We're toting that powder all the way from here to there, right? That seems stupid, don't it? How do you figure? Well, they ain't shooting them cannonballs down with spit, are they? They've got powder there, Stark, if that's what you're telling me. But I aim to blow these cannon without being seen. Now, if we can blow our powder underneath this rock overhang, we can destroy this gun position without anyone laying eyes on us. Yeah, but how do you know they ain't got a whole company of dragoons waiting there at the foot of them bluffs for us? They don't need them. They got the Tuscarora taking care of that for them. Indians? From here to those bluffs. Yeah, now, if that's so, what's to stop them from taking our scouts before we get there? He is. Gentlemen, meet Gabe Cooper, our guide to Vincennes. A slavey? That slavey happens to be a chief of the Tuscarora. They run out of Indians? I'm just taking you through Tuscarora's country. Getting those cannons is the colonel's job. Colonials must be hard-pressed if they have to depend on trappers for their officers. Or prisoners for fighting men. But right now, I'm not choosing. Sorry, Luck, Colonel. 
But I'm afraid your soldiers have fought their last battle for God and country. Yeah, Colonel. Looks like all you got left is us prisoners. <laughs> Indeed, Colonel. A coward, a felon, and His Majesty's most loyal deserter. Shall we drink a toast to the Colonel's mission? First tactical order is to conserve water. What's the matter? You winded already? We've been walking since yesterday. You look like you can use some rest yourself, Stark. You just keep pacing, Chief. See if I'm not right behind you. Keep your voice down, Stark. I won't be treated like a beast of burden. As a prisoner of war, I'm entitled to certain rights. You're mighty testy about your rights, Addison. Since I didn't take you prisoner, I'm not going to worry about him. I'm just going to grant you the same rights the rest of us have. You don't look out, you're going to turn Yankee, Edison. Mr. Boone? You could have had him. Bring the Mohawks down on my neck. I thought you said this was Tuscarora country. It is, but the Mohawk scouting parties are loyal to the British. Now, let's move. So we die of savages or starvation? Well, it doesn't matter to me. Listen, we don't haul less powder. You feed us. I'm hungry, too. I right hear some jerky and hardtack. You had food all along and didn't tell us. That's right, Addison. I held out on you. How long do you think it's going to last them? Well, I'll trade it for another day's march out of them. And then what, Colonel? Well, don't tell me your belly's growling too, Gabe. When it is, I'll let you know.
We're freezing. At least we'll get to Vincennes without the British knowing it. If we get to Vincennes. Let them have the fire, Boone. It could be the last one they'll enjoy. Sounds like you've got a lot of faith in our mission. The mission's got two parts. The planning and the making it happen. Well, what part doesn't suit you? What does it matter to you? Let's just say it does. All right. Right now, they're cold and hungry enough to just hate you. If you're lucky, they'll hightail it the first chance they get. If not, they might just get it in their head that you'll be easier to take than those British cannons. That sounds like that troubles you. Hey, Colonel. Ain't you kind of forgetting them dropping out before we get there? There'll be more, now that they know you're coming. They'll alert every British garrison from here to Vincennes. Unless you stop them. Lose time by doing it. You're worth 10 pounds of scalp to the Mohawk. What's the matter, Gabe? The war getting to you, too? I'm thinking of my own hide. When it comes down to cash, they pay the same for skin, black or white. What are we waiting for? You know what we're waiting for, to be, become cannon fodder for some harebrained scheme he's hatched. I trust him. He saved my life. I need that musket, laddie. It's not mine to turn over. You're not planning on giving us an argument, are you, boy? I might. Now, that'd be foolish to squeeze one off now. That's right, Stark. I bet you were real worried about me. Not now, I ain't. I'd like to see you buried proper. Which is too useful as a pack mule. You've been hit. The ball went through clean. Is that enough glory for you? We're still pushing on to Vincennes. What are you trying to do? Win this war alone? I'm still going. Think you'll have them when you get there? They're all I've got. Mr. Cooper, are you insinuating that we would desert our wounded leader? I'm with you, Mr. Boone. Oh, you're a credit to the Continental Army. Ain't he, Mr. Addison? I salute you, Mr. Webster. That's good enough. Let's move.
Mr. Boone, how you doing? How's that leg? What are you doing back here? Your place is up ahead. Didn't you hear me? That's an order. At least you can do is let me change that bandage. I want it changed. I'll let you know. Now get back up there where you belong. I'm going to change that bandage, sir. Webster, you're a coward. That's why you're hanging back, isn't it? You're not thinking about me. You're thinking about your own hide. about that? He was the only one with you. Now you lost him. You're supposed to be leading this column. I'm not one of your white soldier boys taking orders from you, Boom. We just made a bargain, that's all. Then keep it. I ever tell you about that time, Addison? Shut up! You know, you could tamp these into a cannon and blow up a fort. Ain't that right, Engine? <laughs> hey, you think he's gonna catch up with us? I don't care if he does. Hey, Addison, out of here. Stop nursing the colonel. Leave him beef, Doc. Hey, we could give him a proper burial if we had a drum and a piper. I told you to leave him beef. You talking to me, nigger? You might be chief to them Indians, but you're nothing but a runaway slave. Mr. Cooper, have you considered offering your services to King George III? Mr. Stark, as a temporarily displaced civilian, I'd advise you to sue for peace. Crawling with death, and you're still trying to play soldier. I recall you're good at singing at burials. You bring up with people. When we move east, I can get you to a Mohawk settlement. Trying to prove to me that a Tuscarora scalp is worth more than mine? You don't owe me that. You want to die? If I do, I'll take British cannon with me. We're moving out. says, boy, you got to keep an ear cocked when he's not talking to catch what he's saying. You're throwing away your life, sir. It's not worth it. Now, you listen to me. There'll be ships sailing up that river, man, but boy's not much older than yourself. They'll be sailing right into the muzzle of those guns. If we don't take them, they haven't got a chance. Hey, they've been fighting for our freedom. We owe them that chance.
get that bandage off, Webster. You're wasting time, Gabe. Maybe you lost track of it. Loves. You'd be there by nightfall without me. You arguing with Thundercloud or Cooper? Enjoy that? Easy, man. Only the Indian in me. <sighs> All right, you can bind it up again. Many parts, Mr. Cooper. Don't tell me your loyalty has shifted. Loyalty? You've been a slave, Mr. Cooper. Something less than human in their eyes. And now you intend to scale the bluffs of Vincennes. For a white man. It's madness. Where's your loyalty, Mr. Edison? You got no faith? No flag? Is there blood in you? In the name of faith, flag, and blood, we've slaughtered since the deluge. There's more reasoning in tea leaves. Mr. Cooper, what do you owe them? Them? A powerful hurt. But then you can't eat off of it. You got to start with one man. Boom. I owe him my freedom. Better get some rest. I'm gonna pull out when it gets dark. Soldier, Addison's got no choice. Wake up, Webster. I never got to sleep. I was that. There's no need to take on a special shame for being scared. You aren't, are you? Body got a way of opposing what's inside of it. Do you think I have time for a prayer? You don't have to, do you? <laughs> Sometimes I think I invented it. There wasn't much else to count on. All right, Gabe, get a moon. You're about to be blooded in battle, boy. I'm ready. He's ready. It's 
kind of peaceful, don't it? There's no sign of redcoats, if that's what you mean. The main force is on the other side of the mountain. You must imagine we British are fools. You're beginning to sound like a loyal subject to the crown, Mr. Addison. It's sheer lunacy to think we can make it up the face of that cliff. That overhang will protect us. I say you're a fool. And we can dispute that on the way up, Mr. Addison. We have cat to make that. Oh, oh, cat. Kegs down. Make it easier for you.
Cooper?
There's no powder. What now? Boom! You really mean to go back to the Tuscarora? Yes. And one no Siani Neo. What did he mean? To share what we have shared is to live forever. 